Thank you. 
brothers and sisters in Christ. We are into the 17th ordinary Sunday of the liturgical year. And uh, the Mother Church would recommend us to reflect on this Sunday on the priorities of our life. Where does my uh, priority lie? Where do I seek true happiness in my life? And once again, through uh, an example of a field, Jesus introduces this to us. To find the treasure. Where can I find the true treasure of my life? The first reading, Solomon found it in wisdom. There is something in the Christian philosophy known as summum bonum, summum bonum, which means the supreme good. What is the supreme good? It is God alone and the qualities of God alone. Wisdom is one of the quality of God. Wisdom can ne never be negative. Wisdom is always positive. Good can never be bad. It's, it always remains good. In the same way, the pearl that the merchant seeks for today also is always the most valuable. What is that most valuable in our life? Jesus says in Matthew chapter 6, 33, Seek the kingdom of God and everything else will be added to you. The first priority of my life is to seek the kingdom of God. The values of God, once I find the kingdom, I can find God within me. In Hindi there is a saying, Manchanga the katauti me ganga, which means if your mind is good, you need not to look to look for God here and there in different pilgrimages. You can find God within yourself. The kingdom of God never exists exists uh, uh, other than a human being. It is within the human being. The kingdom of God has to dwell within the human being. The good has to uh, dwell in the human being. Like the last week, we have heard the parable of the good weeds and the seed and the, and the good seeds and the weeds. We have, uh, uh, we know the good and the evil dwell together. So the kingdom of God is not a reality outside. It is within myself. How do I live the kingdom of God, the qualities of the kingdom of God, the Christian values in my life. That should be my priority. When St. Peter derooted himself, derailed from the, that focus of the kingdom of God, from practicing the values of kingdom of God, Jesus calls him once again in John chapter 21 verses 15 onwards. 
Three times Peter denied Jesus, saying that I don't know him. Instead, proclaiming Christ, number of times I have derailed myself and have ignored Christ in my life. But Jesus gives me again and again a chance like St. Peter after the resurrection. He brings back the same situation. The, the fire is there, the charcoal fire, and he's preparing a wonderful breakfast for his disciples sitting around. At that time, he asks Peter, Peter, do you love me more than this? Dear friends, if uh, Jesus asks me this question, do you love me? It's very easy to answer, yes, Lord, I love you. It's easy to answer, I love you. But his question was a bit tricky. He asks, do you love me more than this? More than this qualifies my love for Jesus. More than this qualifies my love for Jesus. Which means, more than this can mean many things. Maybe the ten disciples sitting there, he must have asked, do you love me, Peter, more than these ten? Peter said, yes, Lord, I love you. More than this could mean, do you love me more than your parents, your brothers and sisters? Peter said, yes, Lord, I love you. Never to return, he said, yes, Lord, I love you. That's the commitment that he has made. Dear brothers and sisters, we as Christians, how much of Christian values are we following? I can always think of some Hindus and Muslims who follow the values of Christ more than a Christian. I hope they may be a better Christian than I am. I am a Christian baptized, but they are not baptized, but they follow the values of Christ more than me sometimes. Let us prioritize, dear friends, our life so that we may be always focused, fixed, our, our eyes may be always fixed on Christ. I may always look for true happiness in my life. The true happiness can be gained only in God. That's why even in the times of trouble, Mother Mary in Luke chapter 1, 46 onwards, when we read, we have the Magnificat. She was in trouble. She was a virgin pregnant. She was a virgin pregnant and her punishment was supposed to be stoned to death. But then she sings a beautiful hymn, even at that time of fear of death. He sings a beautiful hymn and the hymn is this. My heart rejoices in God my Savior. My soul magnifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. Even at that time, she found a contentment, a true happiness, a rejoicing within the heart. That is finding the pearl. Even in our troubles, in our, our sufferings, in our times of anxiety, we definitely will have happiness within us. We need to seek that happiness within Jesus. Dear, let us, dear friends, let us prioritize our life and commit ourselves, rededicate ourselves to the Lord. Praise the Lord.